And now let's get you the latest from the Israel-Gaza conflict. Gaza's health ministry claims that an Israeli airstrike killed two journalists in the Palestinian enclave. Mustafa Turia, a video stringer for AFP news agency, and another journalist, Hamza Wael Dadu, have been killed while they were traveling in a car. On the other hand, an Israeli civilian was shot dead while driving near West Bank's Ramallah on Sunday. The lethal attack was carried out adjacent to the British police junction. Israeli security forces and ambulances arrived at the site. The vehicle was found at the side of the road with its rear windshield completely shattered. Across the border, Lebanon's Iranian-backed Hezbollah released a video showing airstrikes on a key Israeli observation post near northern Israel. The group said that it hit the observation post with 62 rockets as a preliminary response to the killing of Hamas's deputy chief Saleh al-Aruri in Beirut on January 2nd. Now, the Israeli military has also said that it identified some 40 launches from Lebanon towards the town of Meron in northern Israel. However, there are no reports of loss of life or property. Hamas released a video claiming that one of its militants attacked an Israeli tank using a rocket-propelled grenade in the al maghazi refugee camp in central part of the Gaza Strip. Also, funerals for six Palestinians were held in Janine on Sunday. They followed a violent confrontation in the West Bank, which left seven Palestinians and a soldier of Israel's paramilitary border police dead. 